the Marjorie Mason Center put on this training for church leaders. The center says survivors often reach out to their church before reaching out to them. And some victims are actually encouraged to work things out with their abusers, something that can be a deadly mistake. Educating and training our pastors to make the churches also a safe place. Nicole Linder with the Marjorie Mason Center says Fresno has a serious domestic abuse problem and some victims use the wrong strategies to stop the abuse in its tracks. Many look to their church first for guidance. Well, because for many people, their faith leader is their primary source for support and guidance. More than 70 church leaders attended the training to learn the steps they can take ensuring safety for a victim. And somebody's got to walk with them through that. Somebody has to help them uh, before a tragedy does happen. Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer spoke at the event saying when abuse occurs, the church plays an important role, but police intervention can save lives. He says there have been five domestic violence related deaths in the county this year. Is that when people remain in those relationships where domestic violence abuse is occurring, oftentimes it gets worse and the injuries become more severe and ultimately it can result in death. Jen Fries is a domestic abuse survivor. She spoke about her story and says her church didn't protect her when she came forward. She says the Marjorie Mason Center helped her during her darkest time. My story is Itself. I'm amazed every single day of how far we have come and what I'm able to do and help others. Free says she now has her own faith-based organization to help women get out of abusive relationships. She says 90% of the women she works with go to church and are afraid to speak up to get any help, which is why these trainings are so important. In studio, I'm Kaylee Hunt, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.